In today's video, we have something a bit different when we're talking about Arctic products, right? We have here the S8038. These are 10K fans, which means they go up to 10K RPMs. And of course, we have a PWM header that uh, gives us a possibility to adjust the speeds of these fans. Now, mostly these fans are used in industrial servers or servers in general, where they have to push enough air through the components because you don't have an active cooler in servers this these are the reason why you don't have and because of the noise at high rpms they are used in server rooms where it actually doesn't matter what uh, decibel noise they are creating because no person is actually standing there for longer than a couple of minutes maybe hours i remember my situation, I was standing there for 10 hours because there was a problem with a uh, mail server. But regardless of that, we have four pack right here. So S8038 10K, four pack, all have four pin PWM. They aren't daisy chainable because if for some reason you want to adjust the RPMs in a server or anywhere else, you would like to do it individually depending on the position in the rack and everything else all together. Uh, apart from the four fans, you get, of course, 16 screws that uh, are used to attach the fans to the chassis, depending is it case or a server rack, and you get these stickers. Now, these stickers, I'm presuming, they go to block the inner impaler right here inside this fan. And uh, you don't have only one fan, right? You have one in the middle right here that cools the motor, so it kind of gives it... Uh, long-lasting life let's put it this way it gives more longevity to the motor inside because it cools it down frequently basically as the fan spins it spins at the same time pushing air through that motor now let's go through some details and i do have to mention right up front this is just going to be an overview because i know most of you guys won't be using these in your regular pc builds except if you have a position for I doubt it will go into a small form factor, but if you have a position to cool down your hard drives or anything similar to that where you can mount these, this is the way to go. So, the impaler of uh, S8038 uh, 10K is held in place by two ball bearings, and this means it's not only durable, but also is less sensitive to external influence such as heat and dust. In server rooms, you get that well, not that much of a heat because you have loads of ACs cooling down the whole room, but dust definitely uh, tends to happen. So we have an impaler, dual ball bearing and steel shaft. The s 803810 k has wide speed range that can be regulated with PWM and voltage and this allows you to tune the fan specifically to your needs with the wide speed range from 500 RPMs up to 10,000 RPMs. Uh, it's kind of, it provides an ideal balance between the cooling performance and noise, uh, which gives you an option to regulate it. And if you're using it for more conventional and personal use, you will be most likely going with a lower RPMs to lower the decibel noise and to keep that noise out of the room that you're working in, right? Because if you go with 10K, of course, there is a possibility of high decibel range and uh, it's not bearable for a long time. I do have to admit that. Heat sinks in general and radiators do benefit from the fans that have high static pressure. Uh, the static pressure on these ones is 51 millimeters HO, which, uh, which they enable to push air even through the narrow cooling fins. But at the same time, it achieves a maximum airflow of 173.30 cubic meters per hour, which allows quickly to dissipate the heat from an enclosure. This comes to a point where, as I stated at the, at the beginning of the video, with rec servers, uh, they need to push the air quite quickly through those because they're constantly working, constantly pushing high temperatures, and they need to keep it cool without a doubt. For the cable, as already stated, we have 4-pin PWM. The length of the cable is 30 centimeters. So it is in some sort of a design to be used in those kind of applications that I already mentioned because usually those headers are quite close to the fans and they can be easily adjusted. Now for the lifespan of the motor in this scenario, it has been, let's say, pushed a bit further because it is actively cooled by additional impaler in the fan hub. 
So this is what I said, the fan spins, but that impaler also spins at the same time, which can extend the life up to 50%. Now, why is this? These fans tend to work 24 seven. If they're in a proper environment, as already stated in server rooms, in uh, rec servers, they are working 24 seven and they need to be cooled constantly. This is a good solution to add that impaler in the middle to cool down the motor and give it a more longevity when we're talking about general lifespan. As the specification says, it fits into two U server cases and servers as an upgrade to replacement for their CPU fan, radiator fan or system ventilation. Now, certain rec servers have a special chassis or a special, I would say, holders for these type of fans, right? So not all fans go into all rec servers and you do need to take that into consideration. The dimensions of these are 80 times 80 times 38 and even with that, some of them do have hinges on the side for that special mounting mechanism. Other than that, if you have just a regular, I would say mounting mechanism like on standard fans on your case, when you want to mount them on your chassis, you won't have any problems mounting these in rec servers. So there's that. It is also used in industrial systems and plays an important role in machine control and automation systems since it is reliable when we're talking about Arctic in general and these fans are robust. They guarantee performance in various scenarios and various uh, environments. So let's sum it all up. Uh, we have fan speed from 500 to 10,000 RPMs with PWM control. Airflow is 102 CFM, 173.30 a cubic meters per hour static pressure is 51 millimeters h2o operating ambient temperature is from minus 10 to plus 70 degrees celsius warranties six years which is outstanding starting voltage is 5.8 volts dc uh, current is 1.3 amperes and the voltage is 12 volts dc you already know all the other specs so there's nothing left to say honestly uh, i do have to say I'm 99% sure these fans aren't going to be seen in any scenario, so the visual aspect here is totally irrelevant. But uh, when we're talking about the design in general, the impalers here are designed that way to push air and to dissipate the heat. Especially a cool addition is the middle impaler to cool down the uh, to cool down the motor and giving it a longer lifespan, let's put it this way. As already stated at the beginning of the video, this is an overview just to give you heads up what Arctic is producing and what you can expect, of course, from them and uh, to maybe eventually use these fans in a scenario where this could be applicable for you. Um, to shorten it all up, uh, there's nothing left to say except just to give you some heads up on 10k RPM decibel noise and that will be all for today. Guys, uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to check the links if you're interested and if you need these kind of fans. The links are in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and I will see you quite shortly in a new video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.